Exiled Syrian artist Sarah Sharman has held a major solo exhibition in London. The exhibition, World Civil War Portraits, was inspired by Sharman's experiences and understanding of the war in Syria. The Syrian war began four years ago, you'll recall, when peaceful protest against four decades of rule by President Bashar al-Assad's family in March 2011 degenerated into an armed insurgency following a fierce security crackdown. Now, in February of this year, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said the death toll after four years of civil war in Syria has risen to 210,060. Now, before the war, Shama was one of Syria's best-known artists, but she was forced to leave the country with her two children in 2012 after a car bomb exploded outside her flat. She has since moved to Lebanon, where she produced her latest work. Now, joining us on the wall today via phone is Sarah Sharma. She is in London right now, where she held her exhibition. You're welcome to the wall today, Sarah. Thank you very much. Now, can you tell us, Sarah, what was the inspiration for your exhibition in London, and what message are you trying to pass across to the world? Uh, I call this uh, exhibition World War, War Portrait because it become uh, a war, uh, a, a world war because it started from Syria and it's spreading now everywhere, from Arab country to Europe. Mm. So it's a world war. It's a civil war because the fighters are people fighting against their own uh, countrymen. Okay. So because of that, I call it uh, World. So no. this okay, go on. Is, yes, this whole situation is haunting me a lot. So uh, I want to call, I want to bring those 2,100 uh, who were killed in Syria. I want to bring them to Europe, to London. Uh, I want uh, everybody to, to look uh, at their eyes. And uh, but I am uh, trying to bring them back to life. Hmm. Because I want them to tell their story, to defend their differences, because they deserve to be, to be allies. Hmm. Now, Sarah, we know your husband is still in Syria. How often do you communicate with him, and what is the situation like there? Uh, my husband is uh, still working in Damascus. Damascus is the you know, It is still uh, safe. It's the, it's the safest place. Uh, among the other uh, Syrian cities, but uh, it is not uh, difficult uh, for me and for my children. But it's very easy for us to communicate, and he comes to visit us uh, every weekend uh, in Lebanon. So the, the road from uh, Damascus to Beirut is still safe till now. Mm. Okay, now Sarah, are you satisfied with the response of the international community to the war in Syria? And what else would you like the international community to do for your country? Um, I think they are trying to do their best. They are trying to do many uh, uh, conferences for peace about Syria. But what I want, uh, what I want is, uh, uh, I want this killing to stop because mm. there's nothing deserve all this killing. Mm. And because this war, if it isn't stopped now. Uh, it will reach uh, other countries in Europe also. It's mm. not only a Syrian war. It's a world war now. Mm. Now, what has your experience been like working and living in exile? And are you optimistic that this war will end anytime soon and you'll be able to return back home? Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear you well. I said, what has your experience been like living and working in exile? And are you optimistic yes. that this war will soon be over and you'll return home soon? Yeah. Uh, now I'm living in a, in a uh, I think I'm luckier than other Syrians because uh, I'm living in a town in Lebanon, which is my mother's hometown, because she's Lebanese. So I have a lot of family there. So I think working and living there is, is a very nice uh, uh, experience for me. But uh, I hope to uh, come back uh, to Syria because uh, Syria is a part of me, is my uh, lovely country. But uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not seeing any uh, positive uh, thing for the next uh, few years. No. But I, I am hoping, like all people, we are all hoping for peace. Mm. 
Well, thank you very much, Sarah, for joining us on the wall today. Sarah is, Sarah is one of Syria's best-known artists, but she was forced to leave her country with her two children in 2012 after a car bomb exploded outside her flat. She has since moved to Lebanon, where she produced her latest work, which was exhibited in London.